Today we've been helping you with stubborn problems that just won't go away. And our next issue comes from Janet in Colorado who had this question about her mother. Hi doctors, my mom has a phantom itch on her back. For years she's had us kids scratch that spot till it's nearly bleeding. We'd like to know what it is. You know, well Janet, there are dozens of things that can cause itching, some of which we can rule out if she's seen a doctor, you know, about, about this condition. Number one, just aging. Your skin dries out a little bit as part of the aging process. That's, that's why I tell everybody to moisturize, moisturize. Mm -hmm. The other obvious thing is ir irritants, soaps, perfumes, certain mm -hmm. clothing, certain people. Yeah, especially will... new clothes that haven't been washed already are often full of detergents, irritants, things like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Other systemic causes, you can be reacting to certain medications that may make you itch also. So there's a lot of well, different systemic even systemic illnesses on rare occasions, oh, yeah. if you have systemic itching all over. Now, this is different. If you have itching in one spot all the time, but unexpected or unexplained itching can be a sign of, of a you systemic No, a drug illness. reaction, let's say somebody's allergic to penicillin, they get hyped, that's probably going yep. to itch. Certain dyes, too. So, that, so yeah. that's, that's an example of that. So treatments, what you should do, the obvious, number one, don't scratch, don't rub. It's only going to make it worse. What may help take... Take a lukewarm bath using a little bit of soap and rinsing well, but don't wash too often because that's just going to dry out your skin uh, even more. Try a skin-soothing oatmeal mm -hmm. or cornstarch bath. I'm sure you recommend that for your kitties, right? Oh, for sure, yeah, especially chicken pox itching. Yep, and, you know, especially in the winter, you want to apply a soothing lotion during the uh, dry winter months. That's another cause. Of, yeah, in of terms of skin. the moisturizing lotions like that, if you're, you know, I tell my patients, if you're using it once or twice a day and that's not enough, just keep using it more and more. Even if you got to use it 10, 15 times a day, just to get your skin moisturized, then the itching will often go away. But you're, exactly. you're also talking about itching here without an obvious source. We talked with Dr. Ablon earlier, you know, if you're seeing a rash or something associated with it, you know, obviously you want to get the diagnosis bug bites. because it could be an mm -hmm. infection, it could be bug bites, it could be whatever. Like, literally, if you have a constant itch in an area of your back where you have irritation, you could have bed bugs mm -hmm. that, you know, you just, you never know. So look for those things, but you have something cool yeah, here if, for the if, average itch. If it's really just dry skin that we talked about, whether it be from age or you're not moisturizing enough, you might have, in this case, Jen and have her mom use products put out by Seba Med. Dermatologists recommend these products, good for moisturizing, they last uh, for different parts of the body. Point is, try to avoid that temptation to scratch that itch because it just makes it worse. So try some of these moisturizing treatments. If you're not sure what's going on, as always, you can go see your dermatologist to try to get a diagnosis.